baby. Come on, baby. Baby, quiet. Come on, baby. We've seen it, him, her kick about here. I think she's probably quite excited. She loves having a baby. As Jenny excited Becker. as you are? <laughs> Possibly not as excited as we are. <laughs> we're, too, we're more excited, aren't we? I want a boy, Owen. I told you. Can we have a boy, please? Gemma and Megan are taking care of Oni, a member of a rare and mysterious species that's been nicknamed the African Unicorn. Introducing Congo, one of the latest arrivals at the famous London Zoo. The serene and gentle Okapi was first brought to the world's attention by one of London Zoo's fellows in 1901. They're believed to be one of the oldest surviving mammals on Earth, and there aren't many of them left. So few members of the public know anything about Akapi. They come to the zoo and they're like, ah, what is that? I've never seen that before, ever. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a cross between a zebra and a deer, which drives us mad. <laughs> and if we can shout about the Akapi to the public, and we can build up that momentum of people loving Akapi, like people love giraffes and elephants, hopefully, we can get everyone on board to conserving them in the wild, hopefully. And nothing does that better than a baby Akapi. Soon, Oni will need an important scan, but zoo quarantine rules mean her usual team can't be here. Hopefully, the keepers that have never done it all before will all be amazing. Hi. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> there we go, hi. Keep saying I've got poor network. Hold on. Ay, ay, ay. I've got... Have you got a signal? I've got 4G. Oni's pregnancy is important for the zoo and the endangered Okapi species, but her ultrasound is proving problematic. The zoo has split their staff into two teams to prevent the spread of the disease, but it means that the usual team isn't on hand to perform the scan. It's a good start. Hello. The task now falls to a keeper who's never had the opportunity to scan an okapi until now. Team A, which is us, are going to attempt to train Holly Hello. how to ultrasound scan only with the vet. But the vet also needs training, so he's going to be trained via the other vet from Whipsnade. All via video call on Microsoft Teams. Aha, uh -huh. there we go. How are you doing? I'm all right, how are you? Yeah, we're good, thanks. Should we just talk through how we're, how I'm going to do it in your stead? What do you normally do? To scan a pregnant okapi, you need a generous quantity of lubrication. The gel works really well on its own. You just have to put loads, loads on. It's like in between her belly button and her nipples. Prevent her wandering off by distracting her with tasty morsels. Really ration the food. Like this much. Teeny tiny this bread. Tiny bread. And to keep her still long enough for the vets to get all the measurements they need. You could be stood there for like 45 minutes. So just a couple of things to think about, Hull. <laughs> just a few things to think about. Hi. <laughs> Questions? Um. Hopefully, Holly will be able to do it. Ty will be able to teach Nick, the new vet, <laughs> and we'll get some. And we'll just be on the phone cheering. We'll be on the phone going, baby! <laughs> we want to be able to build up a bigger population in zoos so that if anything was to happen, we can use that as a backup population. Good girl. Come on, then. Oni is 10 months into a pregnancy that will last up to 16 months. She's in a pretty good mood this morning. She let me pick up all of her feet for cleaning. I think it depends on what baby's doing. If baby's kept her up all night, then she's in a bit of a stroppy mood in the morning sometimes during foot care. <laughs> Come on. Jess, do you want to try and get Gemma and Meg on Teams? Hello. 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 Oh, look, she's rubbed against me. <laughs> you <laughs> to check that Oni's calf is healthy, Holly is about to put her newly learned Okapi ultrasound skills to the test. Along with the zoo's chief vet, Nick. Hey. Hi, Nick. How you doing? Right? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? She's, she's lubed up and ready to go. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Hello. Great. So I think we're pretty much ready. 
Okay. Good measurements of the calf. It has a heartbeat, yeah. So, yeah, so we know the calf is alive. The calf is it's alive. Really, really <laughs> nice. That's good. It's good. Really it's nice, good. rhythmic. Can you tell if it's a girl or a boy at this stage? Um, well, I think if we were really good and lucky, we might, but uh, no, I can't, I'm sorry. She's like, can I see my baby? But yeah, yeah it's, your, it's your baby hey. in there. That's your baby. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Gemma. <laughs> it's all good. And the calf looks really healthy, so that's great. Oh, so pleased. I think this time in her first pregnancy, we barely saw anything. You can see the heart beating in here as we as it moves forward. Does that make sense? This is the heart beating near the front of the chest. Wow. When the Okapi calf is born later this year, it will be another step towards the long-term protection of this rare species. <laughs>